Hello everybody and welcome back to Insane Brit Gaming. I have been Insane Brit and uh, today's unboxing is a Japanese anime. Uh, is it wrong <coughs> to try to pick to try to pick up girls in the dungeon? Complete series uh, collections, season one, collector's edition. Now this is on Blu-ray. Sorry, let me just switch back to the camera. Um, so yeah, this anime um, I'm not too sure about uh, in regards to what the story is. I think a guy goes in, into a dungeon or whatever, sees some hot chick or whatever, and then basically um, falls in love with her kind of thing. I, I'm unsure, I'll be honest with you. I don't really have much of a clue here. Um, I know it ain't too perverted like some of the other animes that I've unboxed recent, in recent times. Uh, it's basically a good story, I've been told, kind of scenario, uh, with some comedy elements in there, which I always like my comedy in thrown in there, uh, which is always good. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to show you my address and everything. <coughs> this is retails for about £30, so the link for this product will be in the description below, so don't forget to check that out. Uh, it was bought on Amazon. Oh wow, okay, so straight away. And there is the actual product itself. <clears throat> so we've got the main protagonist here uh, with the with the girl he's interested in. Us. I think that's his friend, from what I understand. Um, and uh, she really likes him. And uh, he's like oblivious to it, I believe. It's 13 episodes. You get two Blu-ray discs. And it's I also get the, f uh, I think, DVD version as well. So you get the Blu-ray and DVD uh, version apparently as well. Not bad for £30. I'm not really concerned with the DVD versions. I'm happy just to have the Blu-ray versions. Um, but whatever. Um, so, uh, the god... Now, I'm going to read some of the back, and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch it, and then I'll give you my four opinions on it. Um, the gods descended, never <clears throat> favouring the power stronger than the blessing. Uh, some adventurer delve into the sprawling Lambeth beneath the city of Oreo to find the fame and fortune. Others come to test their skills against the legions of monsters lurking into the darkness. However, Bell Cranel, grandfather, told him a different reason. It's a great place to rescue, <laughs> subsequently, meet girls. And Bell's a dungeon delver himself. Uh, the ladies <clears throat> he's encountering aren't the helpless damsels in distress. So basically, yeah, you can go into these dungeons and prove yourself and fight monsters and stuff. So it's got a kind of cool element there. And uh, he's looking for beautiful women to save, but a lot of them are from what he's... I think I've seen part of one episode that my friend showed me, and I fell in love with it right away. And and I was like, I'm only 10, 20 minutes... I, I think I saw one episode overall. I saw one episode about two years ago. I never got around to buying this. And I fell in love with it straight away, and I thought, I'm going to buy this at some point. And uh, I've had a lot of other stuff to buy, and X, Y, and Z. Uh, other animes going down the list uh, before I got to this one, which I wanted to pick up. And... Uh, it finally came out in the collection or whatever, so I, I, <coughs> I finally bought it. But yeah, so this is all I know about it thus far. Um, that's his hot friend, and um, he kind of ignores her and he's going after other chicks or whatever. And uh, of course, as I said, you can fight dungeon uh, monsters in the dungeon and stuff. And um, but they're all badass chicks anyway, so they don't really need saving. Anyway, that is all I know about this anime. Uh, so let's actually unbox it now. Uh, sh let's see what we actually get. It's nice packaging. I'll save that right now. Okay, I don't, I, I need the scissors today, that's alright. <coughs> um, let's have a look. Let's take this off. Alright. So it's a nice slip case. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, look, it's clear plastic. That's unusual. Quite solid, I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, so this is, oh, wow. So you get some nice cardboard here. That's nice and solid. I'm loving that. A girl on the back, the artwork looks really nice. And it just slots out like that. That is cool. You get a lot of layers there. I'm happy about that. That's pretty cool. So this is what it looks like. Uh, special features, clean opening animation, closing, and available from Sentai Filmworks. Some adverts. So that would be interesting to watch. Yeah, as well, just because I see other anime coming out that this company have made. Uh, region code B, so that can play in the UK, 13 episodes, Blu-ray, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Alright, so. Okay, you get some kind of art book, I think. I'll look at that in a minute. Okay, so it comes, it's like that. Oh, you get quite a few discs in here. Oh, I hate this layered thing. I hate all these... These kind of things here, because if they snap or break, 
you know, it's game over. You can't really do anything about it. So just be very careful. Um, disc one, disc two. Why even bother giving me the bloody um, the DVD version? Really, I mean, honest to God, I just wanted the Blu-ray version. So you can see the first two discs are the Blu-ray version. It must be because you can fit more on a disc one to uh, one to nine there, and then the second disc is ten to thirteen, right? Where you get three more discs with, with a DVD version. There's no point to that. I don't understand that one way or the other. It's ridiculous. All right, so that's that. <clears throat> and let's see what you get in here. I think it's just a, a, a small poster or something. Really? The artwork looks nice, but I don't see the actual point of actually giving me this. But whatever. Always appreciate an art book. Whatever. But there you go. Some of the characters there. Uh, but yeah, that's all you really get in it. I mean, it's a nice packaging. I'm not thrilled with this, but it is what it is. I just... Uh, I know I'm getting more for my money with by for paying thirty pound, but I don't need the DVD versions. I really don't care about them, you know. So it's just uh, an inconvenience uh, with all these these um, I don't know these holding things or whatever hold the disc because if one of them snaps, it's stupid. You know what I mean? So it's an unnecessarily risk you need to take there. Anyway, guys, that is the this end of a, of the first part of the unboxing. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and watch this over the next uh, few days or whatever, because I don't like to marathon them. I like to take my time with these animes uh, and uh, enjoy them. Um, you know, so I've got something to do because these animes they don't come out as, as quickly as you'd like to think. You know what I mean? They, you have to wait months or sometimes even years for them to come out. Uh, you know, certain animes and. Uh, just kind of, you know, kills it. So I like to take my time with them. But I'm loving the box. Very nice. That'll go great with my collection. <clears throat> Alright, guys. So I will see you on the next part when I'm actually be talking about the anime. And uh, saying what I think. If it's worth buying. What kind of elements it has to the anime. Um, is this ca If there's character growth or anything like that. <clears throat> anyway, guys. I'll catch you on the next uh, part of the video. Stay tuned. Hey, guys. I'm back. And this is the review part of uh, this unboxing. Um, now, there's some interesting facts related to Season 2, uh, which you really have to know about, because I did not know this, and I'm pissed off about it, or su surprised as hell, and I'm like, what the hell is this about? So, uh, please bear with me for the end, <clears throat> to find out about Season 2. Now, Season 1. Um, now, the premise of this story is our main... Um, our main protagonist, if I can remember his name, is called Bell. I hate that fucking name. Why is he called Bell? Was he a woman? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, he's called Bell. And uh, basically, he's an adventurer and he wants to become a hero kind of like mentality. Now, this uh, universe actually borrows from the gaming world or, uh, as well, which is strange. It borrows some elements to it. And I'll get to that in a little bit. Basically, he's going in this fantasy land, ancient world, uh, you know, uh, swords, armor. Uh, pretty much like Sword Art Online, the first season, you know what I mean? That kind of rhetoric uh, going on there with blacksmiths, different armour, magic. Um, anyway, he's going from pub to pub, or whatever you want to call it, or bar, and um, trying to find um, a team to team up with him. <clears throat> and he's a level one adventurer, okay? Uh, in this world, there's something called goddesses, and he basically meets a goddess who wants to help him. Um, who essentially is in love with him, I won't even lie. <coughs> now, he either ignores this completely, uh, which is ironic as hell, and uh, doesn't really seem interested in it, and ends up living with her. And uh, basically, he goes into um, a cave or whatever, or a dungeon, sorry, and uh, he fights these little monsters, and if you, in this universe, if you... Um, when you kill a monster, you get little shards, they look like shards of glass, and basically that's the currency in this world, and you go back to some place in particular, and uh, you trade them in, and you get money, whatever, so it's, it's like that, it's the way the, where this universe works. Um, also, because he's a, a low-level dungeon person or adventurer, uh, he goes in there and fights little monsters, his, his stamina, that's where the gaming comes into it, the stamina or his strength, or whatever it may be, goes up to one or two levels. And his goddess writes on his back to update 
uh, his status, which is weird in itself, uh, but apparently that's what this universe does. So he goes up, up one or two, it's no big deal. Uh, however, if you go and fight a bigger monster, like a, a Minotaur or whatever, it goes up by 10 or whatever, so it goes up a hell of a lot more. Like XP almost. It's kind of unusual what they do. There's also safe zones in the dungeons as well, where monsters don't bother you or whatever, so it's like a... See what I mean? It's like there's two elements there that's taken from the gaming universe. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> anyway, our main character is basically with a hot chick or slash goddess who is, um, I think her name's Hestia, of course, on the front case. And, and uh, he seems to ignore her and she's definitely in love with him. He comes across various characters throughout the anime who also uh, some hot chicks or whatever, uh, a girl in a cafe who's interested in him. Um, and then there's this one particular blonde chick who's part of a, an elite group of uh, um, adventurers or whatever you want to call them, or warriors that go in the dungeons, uh, and they're certain levels, I think they're level 3, 4s and 5s, I don't know, <clears throat> and basically uh, he wants to match her and become like her kind of thing. And uh, this irks him on to become strong very fast, all that kind of stuff. Um, he wants to catch up with her. He gets saved by her f by a few times. And he's really focused on this one blonde chick. Uh, when he's got loads of others around him, he's just completely ignoring them, which is kind of weird to me in itself. Um, oh, God. What else is there to say about this anime? He eventually meets um, a little... A little girl, or some kind of like a girl who's slash animal, like a kitten or cat, uh, cat girl basically, who basically assists him. There's an issue that goes on there, but I don't want to give away too big a plot point because this is only 12 episodes of the, in the anime. Um, so he ends up teaming up with her who assists him. He also then, he also then meets other characters throughout the world, including a blacksmith, uh, who helps him out. Um, there is a few good monster battles and stuff like that in the actual anime in itself. Um, he basically goes into a bigger dungeon, um, because he levels up and he becomes famous for being only a month leveling up to level 2 as a noob, and he, uh, basically leveled up super fast, and they're like, whoa, can't believe this, and there's rumours about him, um, also his goddess wants to help him and fashions him a knife, uh, a badass knife, basically, and it basically grows with him in power and strength, so, and that's really, really cool as well, I like that. Um, so you get to see some character development there and uh, his sh progression with strength and growth and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, basically they go into a dungeon, the big dungeon, and he gets into trouble with his unit. And then Hestia, his goddess, who obviously for whatever reason can't go in the dungeons uh, herself, it's forbidden or whatever, sends in her people or her friends. They rally around and try and go and save him. And there's a whole thing that happens there. Again, I'm not going to go into too much detail. Um, the fight scenes are pretty good, and it's enjoyable watching him progress in that respect. I wasn't too thrilled with the... the if, it, if the ending fight was a five-minute fight, I was happy about the last two minutes of it. So, the first three minutes was blasé, but whatever. It, that's just my opinion. Um, <clears throat> now, this anime does have some kind of semi-fan service with some hot chicks running around. Uh, that's fine. It's not too in your face. It doesn't distract you from the story. Um, the comedy element is there a little bit. You know, some funny parts, you know, she's um, she's uh, obsessing over him and doesn't like him talking to other chicks or, you know what I mean, other women. She's like, who's this chick, who's this chick, you know, he's mine kind of thing, which is uh, kind of funny. Uh, so you get that element to it in the relationship, which is kind of funny. Um, so there is some comedy there, a little bit of fan service, but just generally it's a good story. And I definitely want to see more of the universe and the world and everything else. I'm, just, I'm annoyed that it's only 12 episodes. Uh, I wish it was 24 um, so that, uh, is it, have I regretted buying it? No. Is it worth buying? Yes. I think it is. I paid £30, 25 30, no, I think, yeah, £30. So I haven't felt I've wasted my money. <clears throat> it was a good deal in that respect. However, I want to talk about season two now. Season two is out. And I'm like, what? Where is, I, you type in, uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon season two? And it takes you all over the place, I think, blah, blah, blah. But essentially... This is where it goes a little bit AWOL for me, and this is why I'm going to leave both these products in the link description below so you know what to look for. The second season, right, is called Sword Autoria Collection. What? Sword Autoria Collection? I saw it, I scrolled it, I scrolled past it, and my friend said, no, that's it. And I'm like, what? I see the main, the characters on the, on the, on the front casing, 
I'd see that, but the, the name was so different that I had no fucking clue. Like, what the hell? Why are you calling it something different? It should just be called Sword Art Online. I mean, Sword Art Online. It should be called Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in the Dungeon Season 2. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, Sword Autorio Collection. And basically, and this is where it goes a little bit AWOL, um, this uh, second season, as it were, is the story of the blonde chick in her group and what they were doing during this time. That's what they... they, they I mean... The, the season isn't long enough to do that, but that's what they're doing. They're, they're basically going, well, here's the story of the first season. You saw that. You enjoyed that. Second season's going to be this group and what they're doing. Who gives a shit? We want a full-fledged season two of the two main characters. I mean, they're probably in it, but I don't really care about seeing a whole other show about the other two, the other character. That's kind of annoying. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like that. And also, uh, season three, I think, is coming. And I think they're going to do uh, a whole season, or whatever you want to call that, on the on an elf chick who's actually in the cafe, who's like a badass elf or whatever, and her backstory. So they're doing, they're culling it up, and I'm like, I don't understand that. Why don't you just make a full-fledged one, season one, season two, and then put their backstories in as filler? If this was a 24-episode anime, you could have put their two stories in, like, I don't know, episode 10 episode 18 or episode 20 you know to really break it up and have some filler so we knew some backstory about the characters there is quite a few characters in here uh, overall <coughs> sorry my cold and cough um but uh, it's not so much to the point where you're like oh my god it's it's so confusing you know you've got characters who are mystery mysterious because you don't know too much about them but that will come in season two obviously um more about the situation um but it, and that's okay, you know. I, I'm happy with that because uh, you've got their names and their bases of where they came from and how they met. That's fine, um, and it's not too overwhelming. It's not like it's a fairy tale or a bleach, dare I say. And even then, bleach, you pretty much knew who was who. But yeah, so it's 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 okay that way. I'm just a bit annoyed about the season two element, what's going on there, and why they called it a different name. That really fucks me off because then that just confuses me, and then that means I've really got really 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 got a look about what I'm actually, uh, who's who, like, I mean, what, what's next in what anime, so whatever anime I buy, I've now got a, like, proper search, proper, proper search, where the fuck, if they're calling it different names, that's retarded, I don't understand that, I don't like that, having said that, the price is good for the next one, is going to be released in December, this December, so I'll end up buying it, no doubt, uh, and it's only priced at £25, now, if this was, a tw if this was another 12 episodes, you could put those 12 episodes in this, and then I would have paid 50 and said, that's fine. You know, make it worth my while. Instead of broken it up, fucking around. I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, having said that, guys, I will leave both products in the link description below so you know what to look for. So it's just there for you. Uh, can I recommend buying this? Yes, it is a good story. Um, if, you, if you don't like the idea of them breaking up the story, then definitely watch it online. Uh, but I, I don't, I have one or two episodes in, I think you'll be hooked anyway and you'll enjoy the story. Uh, I haven't regretted buying it, I just feel disappointed what they're doing with Season 2. I will be buying Season 2 and reviewing that as well. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Links are in the description below. If you want to donate to me, you can to help me support and run this channel. And uh, you can buy a t-shirt if you want to. Uh, it's up to you. And uh, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.